I think the game itself has been brilliant to play. It's got uh, components there that are good for male and female players, which was something we hadn't realised when we first designed Doom Raider. So we've got the puzzle aspect for the ladies out there, but we've also got the challenges and the exploration that the guys seem to love. Um, well, I've just met Heather again. I've not seen Heather for about 15 years. Um, well, actually, since I got married, um, and Gavin and, and, and all these people. It's nice to see a photo of the old 55 Ash Bull Maid as well. That was, that was quite cool. Yeah, quite some memories. Yeah, you know, some of this I'm not with stuff, but some of that stuff over there used to be hanging up in the office. And some got nicked and then bought by somebody else. So, yeah, it's nice to see that as well. Yeah. That was the one where the other thing went really big for us. The Tomb Raider 1, we were kind of working away on that and uh, didn't know it was going to be a success. And then Tomb Raider 2, you know, it was just suddenly became this big phenomenon. And it was exciting and uh, there was a kind of slight question mark could we do it again? Could we get it out? And we did. And then, you know, it was a big success. So. The first one will always be special you know, for lots of different reasons. Um, I think probably there's a lot that I liked about the fourth one because I think it's one where we, we stopped and really thought about it and like what the, the game was really about and think well let's just set the whole game in Egypt and try and build a story around that and it did just feel like yeah, it, it didn't need a lot of explaining it just made sense so I think I really enjoyed that one and it was, yeah, it was the last one that I worked on. So. It was like a, a revolutionary um, game because you had this very strong female um, protagonist who wasn't didn't need someone a man there to help her. Um, I think it's somewhat, though I don't like to, I don't see it in that way. There was that sort of sexualised nature of the character as well, which I imagine would have, there's an audience for that, um, and that's really why I think it's lasted. because she was the first heroine, you know, to sort of, it was all males before that. I think, and, and plus the fact she was so good looking, of action, spoke well, you know. And she's progressed through the ages as well. You know, she's progressed for 20 years from what she used to look like. So her looks and the graphics all changed, her voice has changed, you know. And, and I think as well, the other thing, from coming from a small town, Derby, you know, to worldwide yeah. as well, you know, it's, I think it's just a phenomenon, I think it always will be.